This is James Calm, the guy on the bike, welcoming you all to another half-assed production. And we've got a real treat for you today. We're coming to you from the Pace Wildenstein Gallery on West 25th Street. And we're going to be looking at an exhibition of recent work by Robert Rauschenberg, titled Runts. Let's check it out. Well, here's an installation view of the front gallery. This show is titled Runts because these are the smallest pieces that uh, Rauschenberg has done in a long time. These pieces are all pigment transfer on polylaminate. So you can see why there's a little bit of uh, skidding in the images on these. This piece is Gazer. 2007. 61 by 73 and a half. Actually looks like he's got uh, a layer of paper laid down over the polylaminate. This is forbidden fruit. on track and Roadrunner Robert Rauschenberg was always one of my favorites he sort of came to the fore in the late 50s early 60s with a style that uh, sort of laid the way for pop art although at the time it was defined as Neo Dada and I think it was his winning of the first prize of the 1964 Venice Biennial that really sort of established America as the undisputed world leader in the, the art world at the time. Oh, I've seen this building on the Lower East Side, the East Village. I think it used to be a public baths. I think uh, Leo Castelli also mentioned when he was speaking about the, the single thing that would have unified all of the people that showed in his gallery, basically all of the pop artists, was that they were strongly influenced by Duchamp. This is called Circus Show. I don't know how he does the photographs, but it looks like he does a solid transfer, maybe runs these through a huge lithography press, squeegees them onto these surfaces. Now, I missed the opening. I was running around in the Lower East Side, but I understand that uh, both Rauschenberg and Merce Cunningham showed up, so that must have been a real, real treat for New York art fans. This piece is called Lighthouse Wall. Rauschenberg is a real uh, connoisseur of the of commonplace American vernacular. Spring Menagerie. And I guess he's about 83 years old, so... He's seen a lot of wear and tear, but uh, it's good to see that he's still making some pretty interesting and vibrant work. You know, he's a very good friend of Cy Twombly, whose show Blossoms we covered on the Calm Report a month and a half ago. This is titled Little Egypt. 
think he's got some Ethiopian manuscript illustrations there, illumination. I think maybe Rauschenberg is one of the most successful of all American artists. He and Warhol really set the standard back in the mid-60s of what it meant to be an art star. This is titled Holy Moly. Got a combination of looks like Cretan sculpture and wall graffiti, ancient Greek, looks like ceramic or something. I just spoke with the receptionist at the desk, and she told me that the prices of these are each four hundred thousand dollars and it looks like uh, all of them are either sold or reserved good for Bob here's the hanging in the second gallery This is titled Marble Surf, and I would like to send out my props to the people at artworldsalon.com slash blogspot. I'd like to thank Jonathan Neal for his post on YouTubing the art world, and also props to Steve Kaplan for his responses. This piece is pastoral, and in the press release they say that this series is a result of Rauschenberg's channel surfing through an archive of photos that he's collected over 30 years. For you viewers, if you're interested in the, the subject of streaming video on the net that's dealing with the art world, you should get over to Art World Salon check out the postings. Also you'll be able to see views of the Calm Report at the new website Art Review. It's a UK website. It looks very interesting. This is called New Venice. Kayak alert. <laughs> I think um, Bryce Martin worked as a studio assistant for Rauschenberg for a period of time, and when someone asked him whether or not he could pick out the kinds of images and things that Rauschenberg was, would use, <laughs> he just said he, he could try, but that Rauschenberg would always come up with something more surprising, more unexpected, more shocking than anything he could think up, which says a lot. This is titled Round Music. That doesn't look like Coney Island. Well, we we're all wishing Robert Rauschenberg well. This is a run through of runs here at Pace Wildenstein on West 25th Street. Thanks, Kate.